Computers are changing everything we do in biology today. Biology is really special in that these are some of the most complicated systems we are aware of. The human brain is probably on the same magnitude as the universe in terms of complexity. What's happened since the 1970s is that as, as computers have gotten faster and faster, we've been able to go to larger and larger systems. Today we can predict motors of DNA, what happens in your cells, ion channels, and even design drugs in computers. There are drugs on the market today that have been developed entirely on computers. Now, the challenge for us, although we benefit from this, is that what I could do individually as a student some 20 years ago to move to the next generation computers that are going to do in the orders of millions of millions of millions of operations and exaflop per second. We're going to need teams including some of the best computer scientists and application experts in the world. BioXL is combining 12 key players in computational biomolecular research in Europe from university to research organizations and also uh, commercial actors. With this we can create a very powerful team that covers the full spectrum from high performance simulations over high throughput computing to data integration and uh, associated workflows. BioXL is about excellence in software and biomolecular simulations. And we need biomolecular simulations to understand the molecule of lives, proteins, and their interactions from the atomic quantum level, this will be the CPMD software within the project, to their 3D structure and dynamics, which will be covered by uh, the Gromax simulation software, to their interactions and macromolecular assemblies, which is basically giving insight into how these molecules interact together. The software efforts that we are doing here within BioXL are going to impact on the development of drugs and impact on health. In BioXL, we're uh, helping scientists, researchers be able to link together um, simulations, complicated modeling codes, do data processing, link it to data stores and so on. So to be able to help with that, we're working on workflows and we use workflow systems. And we use workflow systems to automate all of that chaining together and the running of the simulations. We use it to be able to report what you've just done because it's all automated, that makes it a lot easier. We're building libraries of workflows so that you can reuse ones that we've already built. There's, so there's like a, a, a scale up of, uh, of skills and capability there. We're um, using different workflow management systems because there are many out there, really good ones, the best. So we shouldn't reinvent, we should reuse. And to do that, we have to be able to port them onto different uh, compute places and we have to be able to link them together, interoperate them. Our core applications are widely used by both academia and industry. One important goal is to strengthen the links between them as well as with high-end resource providers. To achieve that, we promote available expertise and best practices for efficient software and hardware use. The center is also developing an extensive training program and a portfolio of services to specifically address the missing competences in the community. Our training program includes numerous workshops, educational webinar series, along with an online knowledge resource center. So the hope is that in the future, through the integration that will come out of BioXL, for example, a non-expert scientist will be able to use in the best ways the different pieces of software in a fully integrated manner. Instead of having pieces of puzzle that you have to put together, the big picture will already in place and this will just speed up uh, science and lead to better results. The continuation of, of the project will mean that we'll be able to capitalize on better codes, the best software, workflows that enable researchers who hadn't been able to use those codes before be able to use them to widen the whole way that we can do uh, biomolecular simulation. BioXL is set out to be a long-lasting infrastructure computational biomolecular researchers can rely on. 
And after the initial funding period from the European Commission, we are working on various business models that will allow us to keep BioXL alive for a long time to become a reliable, dependable resource and infrastructure for biomolecular researchers.